How's it going everyone? This is PC and this is going to be a short little follow-up video to my Enchanted Portals video, which if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I highly suggest you watch that video first to be caught up on the whole Enchanted Portals controversy, which I don't understand why everything is a controversy now, but I digress. <laughs> So, yesterday, I managed to contact the developers of Enchanted Portals, and I did a short little interview with them. And the reason why I did this is to get their response on the backlash and learn a little bit more about this game. Because I want to know both sides of the story, not just one side. So, I went to them, and they were more than happy to do this interview with me, which I got to give a very special thanks to them. And if you guys have any questions for them, I'll have their Facebook page linked in the description. Now, this is going to be a text-based interview because they don't speak English at all. That's not their native language. Uh, so I have to read everything that they said. And I'm going to read everything that I said. So, here we go. My first question was, So, who is helping you develop this game? So, my first question I asked them was, If the developers of Cuphead were working on this game with them. And their response was, No, we are an independent small studio of just two people. And this is our first game. We are both avid Cuphead fans, and we were inspired by it to make something similar. And I gotta say, that is really impressive. I mean, Cuphead took an entire team. It took an entire team to make this, uh, the, to make Cuphead. But with this, it only took two people. And look at how much they accomplished. <laughs> I mean... That, that's incredible. I gotta say, that is incredible. I mean, for a Cuphead-style game, and it, and it only taking two people to do it, I mean, that's, that says a lot. It really does. And the game does look really good. I, I forgot to mention this. The animation looks really good. I, I gotta give props to whoever did the animation. Uh, the animations. Sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, anyways, so my next question I asked them was, what made you decide to develop a game like Cuphead in the first place? Uh, they responded with, it is a game we deeply admire, and we felt like having more games like it in the world would be a great thing. And, I mean, there's not that many games out there that are like Cuphead, so I can see where they're coming from. And... I think this game is a place of passion rather than them just going out of their way to steal an idea. And I don't think they were expecting the backlash that they got from it. But, I mean, that that's, you know, that's something that, you know, the internet, I mean, that's how the internet is, though. That that that's something you got to got to realize how the internet is uh but nevertheless i i then asked them about the backlash and what they thought about it and their response was thanks for your kindness seems like a lot of people take our game as an attack on cuphead and that's understandable we did expect some backlash of course making something similar to a giant like cuphead is a risky move a lot of love and care was put into the game though, and it comes from a place of passion and respect for the original. We were never meant to compete with it, only to celebrate it by making our own version. We didn't expect the trailer to get so much attention so quickly, and the amount of negativity coming our way is not going to lie, quite overwhelming and heartbreaking. But on the flip side, there's also a lot of people who have reached out to us, praising the game and giving us their full support and love, so we're trying to shift our attention to them instead. And, you know, props to them 
for handling it the best way that they can. I mean, they could have just, you know, made a response and, you know, basically uh, make themselves look worse. But honestly, they made themselves look better with this response. Uh, and I don't think they're trying to ignore the criticisms at all. I know a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, they're trying to ignore the criticisms. No, no, I don't think so. I think what they're trying to do is make a game, and I'm pretty sure they're open to criticism. If you have any suggestions or ideas for the game, give it to them. Instead of just, you know, bitching about it, people. I mean, their Facebook uh, Messenger uh, is open. You can ask them anything you want. <laughs> and it, it's a shame that I actually reached out to them because I care about both sides. I don't care about one side. I think one side affairs is just not the way to go. And, you know, now I completely understand it. I understand why they made this. And I wanted to know more about the game, so my next question was, how is the game different from Cuphead? And their response was, while most of the core gameplay is very similar to Cuphead, with two characters shooting their way through a series of boss fights, we're trying to bring some new ideas to the table. And one of those ideas is... Uh, mostly centered around events during battle or status effects that would affect slash transform the players and drastically change how the game plays, making every boss fight unique. And I gotta say, that is actually unique. I mean, they're, they're basically trying to put RPG elements into it, and that's completely different from Cuphead. I mean... Cuphead is uh, basically a uh, it's a boss rush game, from what I know, and you know it, it it's popular because of its art style. Like you're you're not gonna find anything original, uh, in anything because, <laughs> as the saying goes, nothing is original. And, you know, they're trying to throw some ideas. They're trying to bounce some ideas around and see what works with this genre. So, you know, I got to give them props for that. I mean, they're actually trying, people. I mean, you don't see that in the trailer. But this game isn't even finished yet. And people are bitching about it. I mean... That's that, and, and I mean, people are talking about it. I, I shouldn't say bitching. People are talking about this game, and it's not even finished yet. It's not even out yet. That should tell you something, right there. Uh, I then asked them, "So you're putting RPG elements into it?" And they said, "I guess you could say they're RPG elements." We were also trying uh, to wing with I with the idea of different spells having elemental effects added to them with bosses having their own immunities slash weaknesses. There's a lot of ideas floating around at the moment and we definitely want our game to have its unique spin to it. So we'll be experimenting with as many extra mechanics as possible. So it sounds like they're actually trying to make something different out of this. They're not trying to copy Cuphead exactly. The only thing that, you know, I guess they're copying really is just, you know, the 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 style of it. I mean, it's a cartoony, you know, boss rush shooter game. Uh which I mean, that genre itself is not a new concept. Cuphead did not come out with that concept. I mean, there's games such as Contra for the NES that play similarly to Cuphead. Uh, there, there's plenty of shooters out there like Cuphead. I mean, the only thing that makes Cuphead stand out is the art style. I, I will say that, people. And the difficulty, which is fucking hard. 
And I'm pretty sure this game will be fucking hard as well. I mean, it's coming from fans of Cuphead. <laughs> and that is where the interview ends. So, the way I see it, they weren't expecting any negativity uh, from this. And, you know, it came from a place of passion, obviously. And, you know, I think people need to at least give them the chance to to make something with this you know yeah is it like cuphead of course there's nobody denying that but they're trying to take the ideas and try something different and you know i give them props for that i give them so many props for that but you know hopefully you know hopefully they do come out with something incredible with this. I mean, I, I would love to see it. I really would. Hopefully they come out with another trailer kind of showcasing, you know, the different things uh, that this game, you know, offers from Cuphead. Hopefully they showcase that. And hopefully they can change people's minds. Because, honestly, I'm all about an open market. You know, more games like this need to exist. They do. Even if it has to come from a place of inspiration and passion. But, nevertheless, that's my thoughts on the whole matter. Um, what are your thoughts? What did you guys think of the interview? And if you have any suggestions or ideas, then I say talk to them about it. And I'm pretty sure they're open to ideas. Because after all, I mean, we all want to see this game succeed. As I'm sure the developers do. So, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at that. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter at Canvas Pirates. You all have a wonderful day.